Hello everybody. Now this is Dorpen Data Lab TechLix Report Team. In this video, users can check how to find out the effective SYS file. This function is very helpful for some unknown error of the Seagate pension hard drive. You know, sometimes when the Seagate pension hard drive is damaged and we can easily repair it by the standard repair steps within the terminal mode. But, you know, sometimes after we tried the standard repair steps and the commands to execute in the COM terminal, but users still get negative results. So at this time, how to do? Now let's check. We have collected one pension hard drive. We power on the hard drive here by the power icon. We can check in the COM terminal. This is the output reported message from the hard drive. Now the drive gets ready at very no speed. At this time, we can try to enter the F3T, but failed. So we can wait a little bit. Usually, if users see such kind of information, this is usually caused by, I mean, if the drive keeps busy at this time, but the message comes like this. That means the firmware issue is mostly okay. At least the key firmware is okay. But there can be some unknown SYS damage or SYS file corruption. So how to find out which SYS files have been damaged or corrupted? Now let's continue to check the details of this new function. So click this icon to enter the main program. So this is F3 family. Click opt-in details. Now you can see after several, uh, maybe 20 seconds waiting, users can find out the hard drive is detected and we click OK. Users can find out the modules are detected here and is COM terminal. We can enter the F3T prompt. Now, where is the function? Go to the menu called SA operations. The last menu is called 32 read write command read arrow stat statistics so click this one then go to the knock window in this knock window and users just need to wait a little bit and check the result now we can see here this is the, the SYS file list so this we can see Found error, two types of SYS file list. Found error, found OK. So when we find found error, that means this why this SYS file is not good. Okay, it's it has some problem or it's corrupted. So at this time we need to use the DFL Seagate firmware repair program to repair it okay we can use the program to repair it but before we repair this SYS file we can go to scan logical scan the hard drive to see if the data error is accessed a lot because sometimes most SYS files are not important and the corruption of many SYS files doesn't affect the data. 
So we can scan the log, scan the data arrow and see if the data arrow is accessible or not. If the data arrow is accessible, okay, we may not repair the SOS file damage. But if the data arrow is affected, is not accessible, then we try to use our function edit SYS to repair the damaged SYS. Found OK. OK, this was file. We can check this is the damaged address. We can go to check this SYS195. We can read it and we can see if it's corrupted or not. OK, this error then it's adapted. It's corrupted. So 138, 195, 135. Okay, so this SYS file, and there is a lot of 1306. SYS 306. So this red SYS file list are corrupted SYS file list. So if after we scan the data and find out the data is not accessible or if the hard drive ID information is not correctly recognized then we can repair this arrow as well as file list so this function is very helpful when there are some unknown errors occurred after we tried the standard repair steps and failed. So we can try to repair this kind of corrupted as well as file list. Found OK, found error. Remember, these are two types of the diagnosis result of the SYS file list. Dolphin Data Lab will add more new functions to help users to increase their success rate of firmware repair and data recovery. So if users want to learn more on how to use the functions to repair the damaged SYS file, users can log in the Dolphin user-only forum to check more cases.